The time is fleeting. The time is flying, y'all. But again, welcome. If this is your first time watching um, Mount Zion Worldwide Ministries, God bless you. Welcome. Mount Zion Worldwide Ministries is a place where God dwells and his people live by faith and not by sight. Transforming one person at a time. If you um, um, have watched us before, welcome back. Whether it's one time before or 20 times or 100 times, welcome, welcome, welcome. Again, happy Friday, everybody. And I pray that you guys are having a blessed, productive, prosperous day. We're going to get right into the noonday word. Um, for those uh, who have been uh, following the teaching coming out of Mount Zion Worldwide Ministries, you, you would know that we are on soul winning. It's all about souls. So we're going to continue. I pray that uh, this uh, teaching this afternoon will only continue to strengthen you and bless you um, and keep in the forefront of your mind what it is what it what it is that is at the heart of God what's the heart of God what it is that God is saying to us as his people through his man of God through his prophet prophet pastor Emmanuel Renee we give honor to him this afternoon we give honor to our first lady assistant pastor LaShawn Renee and honor to the leadership of Mount Zion Worldwide Ministries and honor to you who is joining us whether you're watching the premiere or whether you are watching um at a later date um honor to you today amen Amen. So we're going to get into it, y'all. Um, we're talking about soul winning, continuing talking about um, uh, uh, what it is that's at the heart of God, what it is that 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 um, God cares about, what he loves, um, what he desires, what he seeks after. Because at the end of it all, or at the core of it all, all we, what we care about is to please God. We don't want to ever be in a place where we... Um, think that we're doing something that may please God and it's not pleasing him we don't want we don't want to operate in a place of tradition or religion thinking that this is what relationship with God is this is what being a believer is um this is what it means to be a christian what it means to 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 be one who says that they love god um but we we want to walk in truth and what god has been revealing to us through in, through the teachings and more and more so even now is that a lot of things that we think what what ministry is about and what we think relationship with god is about and what we think pleases him and what we think is 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 his heart may not necessarily be his heart may have nothing to do with who and what he is and what he has established so we thank god for revealing to us truth Amen. Um, truth of the heart of the matter. And when we talk about the kingdom of God, and when we look at it, we're going to be coming from um, Mark chapter 16, 15 verses 19. This is a scripture where this is where Jesus is is about, uh, is about to leave but he he gives um a commission he 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 speaks to his his disciples he speaks to them um i believe in this in, the, in this chapter um there was the resurrection and then further down and it's in the scripture in which we're going to go to he speaks to his disciples and and, and if he, we call ourselves disciples learned ones followers of jesus christ this this scripture but did not stop with with those that he 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 spoke to that he commissioned but it is relevant to the now it's relevant to us who claim to be believers of jesus christ right so we're going to get into that but first i just want to quickly pray heavenly father lord we thank you for today we thank you for your goodness we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your loving kindness father we thank you for your faithfulness today lord we thank you for bringing us through another week father we give you the praise honor and glory we pray father that even as we gather on this line this afternoon that lord the, the hearers even myself lord god will be recipients of this word and be blessed by it transformed by it washed by your word father we give you all the praise honor and glory holy spirit have your way in jesus name we pray amen so we're going to get into it y'all amen uh, so so we're talking about like i said in this chapter he speaks to, to 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 the disciples and you have to understand this is the last conversation that he has with his disciples right and so when you look at it this is this is what the the matter is this is what's pressing on jesus's heart this is what these are the last words that he shares and so that means the importance how vital it is what it is that he's saying to them right and so we're going to get into the scripture verse 15 says this right he says and he said to them here begins the reading of god's holy word go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation he who has believed right 
in me and has been baptized will be saved from the penalty of God's wrath and judgment. But he who has not believed will be condemned. I'm going to stop right there, but we're going to continue down to 19. But I want to go back to 15. So Jesus here, right? He says to his disciples, go. What is go? Go is an action, right? It's a call to action, meaning don't stay here. Don't be stagnant, but I am commanding you. I'm telling you to go. He didn't say, um, if you have time, go. He didn't say when you feel like it, go. When you decide um, if it's something that you may or may not want to do, then you go. He says, no, 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 no. He, he says, he commands. He says, go. It's a call to action. Go. Leave from here. And he says, where do you go? He says, go into all the world. And a mistake that many of us have made it is is that we um misunderstood scripture where we feel as though when we become we, when we come into jesus christ right um that yes there is a separation but even though we are not of this world we're still in this world and we have been called to go into the world so it is not for us to now retract ourselves to the place where we don't interact with nobody so you can't tell me that now you now the same gospel that saved you the same gospel that caused your life to transform the same gospel that that somebody reached out to give you when you were in the world right what did they do they extended themselves whoever that person was to to uh, to invite you to church or or they met you where you are and ministered the gospel to you told you about Jesus whatever it is they reached out to you now you're in the kingdom of God it is not for you now to take that same grace and stifle it and, and, and hold it into on, onto yourself and say that I'm not going to share the same grace that was dispensed to me and dispense it to somebody else who's in the world remember you once was in the world and a lot of times even us as believers we're still we're still tarrying and we haven't really made up our mind if we're in the world or not or, or, or not in the world but at the end of the day you were fully in the world at some point and so how would you feel that, that if somebody didn't tell you about Jesus that didn't extend that that saving grace to you where would you be right now but for some reason we come into the kingdom of God and, 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 and we shut ourselves completely from the world. Yes, you're not supposed to be of it. You're not supposed to partake in the culture and partake in the mentality and partake in how they run their home and how they operate their family and how they operate their finances and how they treat one another. No, you are not supposed to be in the world, right? Because you're, you're, because you're, you're, you're not supposed to be in it. But, but guess what? Even though we're of it, that means that we cohabitate. We're, we're around unbelievers all the time. You once, myself was once an unbeliever. That means that 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 no, I don't partake in society and I don't operate uh, uh, um, in alignment to this this kingdom, right? The kingdom that rules this earth and rules this world. Um, the God of this world is not my God. But guess what? There are people that are in that world that I must right go into to 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 pull them out. And 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 the church has to repent, as our prophet says, because. We've taken salvation and we've and we've closed the doors to those in the world. We, we 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 get comfortable and we form our churches and we form our groups and we form whatever. And and now everybody's an outsider and we do everything from inside inside. We don't we don't we don't try to reach out to pull anybody into the kingdom. We don't try to reach out to anybody to tell them how good God is and what He is and who He is. But what we have we have become comfortable within the church and become a, a, a social club, as Pastor will always say, and and a place where we gather and we hang out and we do this and we do that and we get a good message on Sunday or a good message on a Saturday or a Friday or a Wednesday whenever we gather and we do all these activities. But there is no heart for the outside, the same outside that we were once a part of, and somebody had the goodness and the mercy and the bonus to reach out to us so that we may be able to come into the fold but we're not going out to that same world we once was in to bring anybody else we are selfish in our salvation right but the bible declares jesus declares he says go he says call to action don't stay where you're at don't 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 be comfortable where you where you're at but he says go into all what the world the world the systems of this world so that means that when you are, are on your job wherever you may go in your home in in the streets wherever you may be wherever god puts you or places you wherever you encounter you are supposed to go into that into that system in, in into the into the world and what preach 
the gospel to all creation, right? It says preach. What is preaching, y'all? That is declaring the word of the Lord, earnestly advocating for God and the kingdom of God, proclaiming his goodness, spreading the good news, teaching them about who Jesus is and, and what he is and what he has done for you and being a, a walking epistle uh, um, of the word of God and, 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 and a billboard for Jesus Christ. It says that's the purpose why you go into all the world. So even for us that are in the world, remember why you're on your job. Remember why you, you have that career path. Remember why you have that business. Remember why, why, why you, um, the people that are around you. It is not for us to, as pastor always teaches us, to, to in a sense, of uh, make friends and get comfortable and, and, and get to the point where, where we are, we more so become influenced and walk away from God instead of us being the influencer and causing others to come to Christ. We're not there to be buddy-buddy to those who are in the world unsaved in the sense of um, allowing that meshing to where we get tainted. But no, we, we are in places where God has put us so that we can be the influencer, so that we can be the one that causes people to want to know who the God that is that you serve. Why are you so different? Why you don't do this? Why you don't do that? There's something about you. There's a light about you. Because when you don't understand is this is that people in the world can see the light. The light that you may not be able to see, they know that there's something about you or something different about you. They know that when all hell breaks loose, I can go to sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so to get a prayer through because I see the light that's within them that is shining. I see a difference. They don't they don't hang out with everybody. They don't talk any kind of way. The way they carry themselves, the way that they treat others. I know that there is a difference from those who are in the world. So the Bible declares, Jesus declares, go. Don't stay where you are. Go into all the world. And he says, what? preach the gospel not hang out not go 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 to clubs and, and, and drink and do this and do that don't 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 um intermingle and marry unto but he says to preach the gospel that's our purpose is to preach the gospel that saved us from hell that saved us from destruction that saved us from a path of that will lead us to no good. He says, preach the gospel, preach the gospel to all creation. And again, that means to all creation. It's not up to us to decide who gets the gospel. It's not up to us to decide who hears it. It's not us to decide based on looks or, or how people, or or, or, or or the way that somebody carries themselves or the lifestyle that they live, that they are not worthy in hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are not, you don't have the power nor the authority to dictate who hears the gospel, but your, your, where your power is and where your authority relies upon is you actually declaring and preaching the word to all creation it you don't you don't decide um th that the drunkard don't hear it that the prostitute is too far, far far gone to hear the gospel that the drug dealer is too far gone to, to hear it that the lesbian or the gay man or or, or this one or that one the pedophile or, or this person who's been in jail for 15 20 years that they are not worthy to hear the gospel we don't make those decisions but the bible declares that we go into all the world and preach, declare, um, herald the, the gospel of Jesus Christ to all creation. If they're breathing, they need to hear it. If they got a pulse, they need to hear it. We don't dictate who, what, the when, the where, or the why, but we are only what? Be obedient and give the gospel to all creation. It says, and then he who believes and has been baptized will be saved, but he who has not believed will be condemned. See, even in that, it is not up to, to you to decide, well, well, I don't want to preach it to them because they look like, or it seems like they won't receive Jesus Christ. It is not up to us to worry about whether somebody's going to receive the gospel or not receive the gospel. He says, preach it anyhow, speak it to them, because at the end of the day, they can never say, I didn't hear it. But what they are going to be responsible for is, is what did they do after they heard the word? What did they do after they heard what it is that God um, said through you, right? Did they accept it? Because it says here that he who believes, that means accepts the word that you that you, that you you um, declare, and he believes in, in Jesus um, and has been baptized, will be saved from what? The penalty of God's wrath and judgment. But he who does not believe will be condemned. But again, that is a decision that they make. It's not up to us to decide whether they, they, they can hear it or not, whether they're going to receive it or not. We, oh, that's not in our lane. Our lane is to what? Preach and declare, teach um, with our lives and, and, and with the words that we say, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Then it says, then these signs will accompany those who believed. In my name, they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, and they will pick up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will get well. See, we have, we have a ministry in church where we like to lay hands, but there's no word given. 
right? We, we, we've got ministries where not a single word of the gospel of Jesus Christ is, 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 is taught. All we have is, is, is these prophetic gatherings in which people want to hear what it is that God is going to do for them. And they want to go because they want to see demons coming out of people. They want to see, see spirits manifesting in people. They want to see healings and all this stuff, but there's no word. How can you have demonstration and there is no word? Because the Bible declares that when you preach the gospel of, of Jesus Christ, then these signs will accompany Come on, y'all. They will accompany those who have, um, have believed, right? And he says, in my, in my name. And again, it's not in our name. It's not in Danielle's name. It's not in whatever your name. Whatever your name is, it's not in your name. It is in Jesus' name, right? Right? That demons will be cast out. They will speak in new tongues. They, uh, um, they will lay hands on the sick and they will get well. All of these, all of the, the demonstration. What is demonstration? It is evidence. There is an evidence to the kingdom of God. And this is why people don't believe because there is no evidence. Because the people of God are not walking in, 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 in alignment to God to get the power of God. So that there could be a power that comes or a, a demonstration or an evidence when they speak God's word. But, but the kingdom of God is not just in word, but in demonstration. In demonstration, you can see the kingdom of God moving. Amen? So it says here, um, so then the Lord Jesus spoke, has spoken to them. He was taken up into heaven. So again, this is what he said right before he went up and sat down at the right hand of God. He said to go, to go, to go into the world and preach the gospel. And a lot of times we want to go into the world, but you, ne you, you neglect your, your, your family. You neglect your, the, those who are in your own home. We want to go to nations. We want to go to Africa. We want to go to India. We want to go here and see these mighty moves of God. But we lose those who are right in our homes. We lose those who are attached to us that we speak to every day friends family um co-workers we lose them but we want to go out to nations no let let us understand that i may never go to india or africa but guess what i surely can work the kingdom of god in my home in my neighborhood and in, in, in where i work at wherever god has put me or placed me the people i interact with that's where the power of god will be seen if i am obedient right so it says here so Jesus sat down at the right hand of God and they went out everywhere. So they heard the instruction and they did, right? They heard. It says, do not only be hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. So not only did they hear what it is that Jesus said, but they acted upon the word in which Jesus spoke. And they went out and they preached where? Not some places, not here and there, but they preached everywhere, anywhere that their feet could take them, wherever they could make it to, that's where they went and they preached preach the gospel. While the Lord was working with them and confirming the word by the signs that followed. There, there it goes again. That it was working. Um, uh, the word was confirmed by the signs that followed. So as, as even as we um, have come to the end of this week and embarking on another week, right? We have to realign our heart and realign our thinking. And we really have to get the heart of God because I don't... You, it takes the heart of God to really understand the burden and the um, the weight when it comes to seeing lost souls. The reason why we can walk past people and we can dismiss people and we're not even thinking about you know, the, all the people that I pass through, throughout the day or encounter throughout the day, that these people are going to end up in hell. It's not really a concern of ours because we're too busy trying to get a blessing and we're too busy trying to get um, a breakthrough and too busy trying to get, um, you know, our spirit is not right. So we, 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 we need a new heart, y'all. We need a new heart and the heart of God that is, is, is sensitive and has a burden and it has compassion for people because that's what the kingdom is all about what did jesus say before he left go tell them about me preach this this gospel and let there be a demonstration of the kingdom and even now in the hour that we're in we've got to have a heart for god stop worrying about everything else let's stop worrying about when this is going to happen for us and god when is this going to show up we've got to come out of that selfishness that we have our selfishness and really understand that if I'm proud to be a believer and I know the power of God, why would I want to be the only one that 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 has it, that 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 experiences it? Would you not want those who are around you to, to experience it? And so what if they don't want to hear it? So what if they say whatever? But the thing is, is they can never say that I didn't hear it. That's what matters. That's what 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 counts. They cannot say that 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 you didn't say nothing to them. But don't allow the opportunity to pass to where they never heard it. 
you the pastor says we walk right to church and we didn't tell our brother and us we go to church and we hear the word all week long and we don't even tell our sister you know uh, or our brothers or our mother like god is good you know your life can be transformed by his power but because our lives don't exemplify it, other people get turned off. So this is not just even in, in evangelism in the sense of just going out and telling people. But let your life speak. Let your life speak. Let our lives speak, right? Um, let it be a billboard, like I said before, for the kingdom of God. Amen. So I pray that you guys were blessed. Remember that you have been enlisted in the army of the Lord. We are in a battle, guys. We are in a battle for souls. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Either the soul is going to be one for the kingdom of God or for the kingdom of darkness. And we do not want the gates of hell to, to enlarge its tent. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't want hell to enlarge its tent for all the souls that it's been able to snatch because we refuse to do our job. Because I believe that there are souls that are waiting to hear, to, to hear the word of God. To, to come to come to and there's people who, who 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 are inside the church that needs to be evangelized all over again lost in the church lost outside of the church but again there's much work to do amen so let us as the believers of god get to work and get back to our, um what should be our first love which is god's love first love which is souls amen i pray that you guys were blessed um encouraged strengthened um today please remember monday through friday voice of the prophet premieres at 10 a.m please check it out please share it please follow us on instagram um at mount zion worldwide amen uh please follow um um Subscribe, excuse me, to the YouTube channel if you have it. Turn on your notifications. Um, Wednesday Bible uh, is a Bible study with Prophet Pastor Man Renee and First Lady Renee. Amen. Thursday is a corporate prayer and word at 7 p.m. Um, Friday midnight prayer. Amen. With our minister uh, Sharon Doggett um, um, via YouTube live. Uh, Saturday prayer with uh, Deaconess Jazz. Um, excuse me, Deaconess Gibson, um, at 10 a.m. on Saturday, and then we're back in the house of the Lord. Please invite, please invite. Take a moment, even if you want to, um, you know, share share the YouTube channel to, to your friends, to your, your contacts, to your Facebook list. Y'all, come on. Let's let's be, be, begin to do the work of evangelism. Begin to send out the teachings, and you never know who it can touch and who it can bless. Send down out the clips. We're trying to evangelize using media and evangelize, um, you know, with our life. Amen. Um, but again, I pray that you all were blessed. Have a blessed, prosperous, productive, um,